What's up people, welcome back to another Lost Recollection video. This time I'm gonna go over the weapon tier list. So yeah, I made I made one back then for AL, now I'm gonna do this for LR. This video is not a full potential because game's not finished yet and we don't know if there's more weapons or better stuff out in the future and that could potentially change, you know, the uh, dynamic for these weapons. And unlike, unlike AL where everything was like a big gap between them until they introduced the sky dancer which make them full potential weapons so they were really really op to boost up the damage so we don't know if we're going to receive any type of you know increase in this game like that so that's why I, uh, I just make it a tier list for this version um for the time being and for the yeah, for what we have and what we can gather and I've been playing for pretty much all the weapons for a long time and I can pretty much sums up this list and yeah it's gonna be somewhat of my list as well I mean if you make your list you can change it to whatever you want but but for me I played it for all, like played it all the weapons for pretty much all the builds so yeah that's why I can pretty much make a you know tier list for it and it's not really like well this weapon it, it, it's it's based on their performance and some of the pros and cons but that's what I'm gonna go over with each one of them and I'm why I put them in um, a specific rank and now we'll talk about it other than that let's jump right into it shall we okay so I'll be going over from the top to the bottom for these uh, weapons to your list and obviously the top S rank rapier so there's no doubt about it, Rapier it is the best weapon in this game. Currently structured it because Rapier just works for everything. It's probably like the reason why is because it, is, it outputs such a high DPS and it pretty much destroy everything, you know. So yeah, I, I, I like. There's always gonna be a top weapon stands out in every SL game, and that's gonna be the best weapon. And there's not much to it in this game. There's no differences. So what makes Rapier so OP is because the speed is relatively quick compared to pretty much all the other weapons. So I like, and it has like debuffs, damage boost, and all of that stuff. So everything just works perfectly well. Like it's complemented each other with the soul skills and not to mention this skill here um let me see where is it there is the the passive um it gives follow-up per double so a follow-up attack is like a 10 percent of original damage so when you have like four car roll it's like 40 percent more so it's a lot of damage and i don't know if we can use a five guard rope because so far i can only put up like four i think so we'll just have to see if there's any more accessories or anything else can you know put up but in al four follow-up attack um is the max so you can't really increase anymore even though if you want to run like maybe three like on rival you can't really do that but yeah so um don't really know if we can put up a fifth god rope and see if we can get another follow-up attack like i said in the future who knows um other than that rapier is just super op it, it's like it, it mirage gives two more double so you can get even more damage for finish R. so everything else is just perfectly fine and then you have strength and agility adjustments the strength and agility is practically the uh the golden adjustments for the uh, soul skills because you can stack up just insane amount of damage with a soul skill plus on top the finish art and you hit it's even more so there's not too much to say about rapier rapier is the best weapon in this game and it works for every situation and it's always recommended if you want to go for some like easy farming and etc just use the rapier and you'll be set and there's not many weapons gonna be even close to the rapier that's the problem in this game because this like i said this skill if if this skill were contribute to not just rapier only for all the weapon if they remove that to all the weapons oh boy 
we're gonna see a lot of weapons are really really OP but we do not get this for other weapons so rapier only which is why it's kind of like such a big difference in the like damage gap between the rapier and everybody else's so yeah maybe in the future we'll get follow-up attacks for other weapons because that would have been that would have been awesome because in in al you get this separately so you can put on everything not just uh one weapon only so i guess that's the reason why they make these um individual skill trees where you have to use a specific weapons for a specific effect so that's what makes those weapons stand out so other than that let's move on to the next weapon okay so the next part is gonna be a little bit interesting because i have two different splits um upper a and lower a because the lower a is not where like it should be in the b range but um they're just a little bit off compared to the upper a you know so it would make sense to split them into you know two different you know two different categories in the same tier it will make sense but in the end of the video i will give you guys another tier list is called the dps and that way you guys can see you know s a b and c then it will make sense but for the general tier list i wouldn't bother to put them uh into a specific location because damn the dps tier list is different than general weapon tier list so a little bit other than that let's go over it. katana so katana is definitely the second best weapon in this game there's no doubt about it katana just it's just so much fun in this game compared to you know other games sometimes but besides hr it's really insane but uh yeah for katana users this is really really good especially when you have hegan for the uh, ultimate soul skill you can get the critical power plus 10 percent, so you get even more damage for the crit that's why katana hits so much more not to mention the strength and agility adjustment katana works in pretty much every situation so it is a little bit lower well not a little bit a bit lower than the rapier then again there's nothing to catch up the rapier because it doesn't have to fall doesn't have to follow up attacks like i explained other than that katana is really fast really smooth so you don't really have to worry too much about waste of motions and animation takes too long that's another thing i want to talk about later on is the animations and etc so katana is very simple fast and straightforward and it has debuffs and all the others so it's really good up next i got the upper a rank the two-handed the two-handed is no doubt is a little bit under katana because just the speed that's all 2h is extremely strong like it, it, it the only thing is just speed that's it there's nothing wrong with the 2h that's why i love to use the 2h in this game plus the the ultimate soul skill is just insane I love the animation, the Volcano Blazer. It's like it's so cool, and it's really it has really good um, adjustment as well. Um, strength and Dex extremely high, and yeah, the 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 only reason like the two H is not as bad is because it hits really hard. Like this is probably the hardest hitting skill besides the Rapier. Like in the, like in the game because the, the the like the like the the ultimate soul skill it hits a crap ton so similar to AL um like the the two H became like the strongest weapon in the entire game because of Sky Dancer it makes the soul skill even more ridiculous but two H lift up is a uh, hit R and slow speed it's okay to hit horror but 2h is not the slowest weapon in this game so it makes up like if you have weapon that hits horror if it hits slow it's okay to make up that differences but if you have the weapon that hits not that hard and it's slow then it's terrible so it's like you gotta have to they're gonna have to make it like a trade-off you know you can't just have both so otherwise it wouldn't make any sense other than that, 2 age very straightforward. Most of the soul skills are really complementing each other, and the only problem is just the um, the buffs. 
Like, I, I like some of the sword skill with the buffs, but some of them, they don't really need it. Like, like increased defense or whatever, I guess. I mean, especially when you're trying to use 20 buffs and you're going to get over buff for some of these sword skills, you have to reduce some of the uh, buffs from your art codes. Otherwise, you know, like 2H, Maze, you're going to get over buffs. So just be aware that when you're using these weapons and then just count your buffs, some of these sword skills do give unnecessary buffs that you don't really want. Up next, the upper aid, I got the scythe. Scythe is really, really powerful in this game and unique. And it's definitely one of my favorite weapon in this entire game. You know, if Katana is my go-to. Scythe is practically the same because I'll be I'll be using both of them mostly because Scythe is just so much fun because especially the alt you can pull enemy towards you and it's really really fun. Not to mention this thing hits really hard and we got a really really good weapon from the DLC so I'm happy with it and uh, yeah because Scythe is very unique special in this game exclusive so they live up the expectation for the new weapon and yeah damage wise is not that much weaker it's it gets the job done pretty much for everything you know the one thing i don't talk about a lot is the arena the arena is different i mean eh, for a lot of weapons it's kind of struggling so i don't really want to include the arena that much but yes you can do the arena with all the weapons if you want to it's just a matter of time but nothing really like swept through like the rapier so that's why i don't i don't include the arena too much um but um outside of the arena it works just fine like it's so powerful and it's i really have fun like you know in like using scythe and most of the builds because it's really simple it's fast and it get and it hits hard up next the upper eight i got spear the spear is extremely powerful in the game no matter in al or in lr they do the same so it's kind of it's kind of awesome though because spear it's so fast in this game like spear is probably like just like it's like the fastest weapon compared to a lot of different weapon like scythe scythe is already fast enough um the other thing is just one age like those are the weapons that are super fast in this game you know besides uh rapier also i mean they they are extremely fast spear combos are really smooth so it hasn't changed much from al still the same stuff but um it works the same in this game it's just powerful not much to talk about with the spear because everything complemented together and the alt is really really special because you get to um you get to get the ls gauge plus 20 so you can technically just spam this and then get the uh you know get the ls gauge back it's pretty cheesy because you can kind of get infinite just guy just kind of like spam it over and over other than that even though dex and agility isn't the best for the adjustments but the finish art makes up the damage so not a big deal um there's some even though this even though it looks like the damage doesn't hit a whole lot but it makes up it makes up for the finish art and there's some damages you just don't see it it's kind of strange but it is what it is okay up next the upper eight i got the whip yeah it's kind of strange isn't it whip make it make it to the upper eight it's also not a shocker either um for a lot of people that don't use whip they might not think it's a good weapon or something but trust me it is a very good weapon in this game whip was already op in um in al um so it, there's no other there's no other like major change in this game but what makes the whip special is that one skill let me pull it up real quick um whoops Let's see, where is it? This one. On source go, downtime plus 300. So you get a few more seconds, quite a bit actually, for the enemies to stay down longer. So longer they stay down, the more damage you hit. Um, so yeah. And that's really, really the biggest key. This is why I always have a whip user to keep them down. If you don't have it, the enemy gets back up quick. And then that's when you do the finish art. 
you don't hit a lot. So yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like important, very very important to have a web user. So if you don't have it, you can use it yourself as well, and it works just fine. Web doesn't like it. it the DPS wise, it is really hard. So it can kill pretty much everything. Just just as you know, fast as every other weapons in this game. It, the moves are very fast, straightforward, simple, and the、um, for the final sword skill, it's actually pretty powerful as well. You know, although the 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 Dex and Vitality isn't like the best in this game. To be honest, like Dex, Vitality, Dex, and Agility, Vitality, Agility, like all like that kind of like adjustments are、uh, it's kind of hard to really match it. Anything with a string will be perfect. Anything with string and agility, string Dex, even string with Vitality is okay. But ultimately, anything besides those combination is. It's all right. It's just we don't we don't really need that kind of adjustment in the game because it's not AL. We don't have like bow work to boost that much more besides those base stats. And sometimes because this game is heavily rely on finish art and sword skill. Yes, you can hit up. You can hit more if you match the adjustment, trying to get as much out of it as possible. But still, your majority of damage is going to come from finish art and the timing. So. Therefore, yeah, customize the sword skill. Trying to get and maximize it like as much as possible, but the rest of them just have to leave it to the finish arts. Therefore, you know, these adjustment is kind of pain in the ass. Just really trying to, you know, match it in this game. So that's why not a big deal. Okay, up next, up for A. I got the shield and axe. Shield and axe is a very powerful weapon in this in this game. You know. So a lot of people might not think the shield axe is kind of strong, but it is. You know, back then for for the like two down kill stuff, like shield axe is one of those weapons that can do it for some of the divine beasts, and some of the other weapons couldn't do it. And it look it doesn't feel like it's a strong weapon, or because of the shield axe. But then again, like when you get to like to the point where you test a lot, like I said, you'll find it special, and. Other than that, not just the stats, you know. Also, some of the sword skills, like the EX, is very strong. Strength adjustment, so obviously it's gonna hit hard. And then the turning blade also has like ten percent skill power, so it's really really powerful. If we can get more damage, and then that combined with the finish R, so it hits a bit more,、um, obviously. So the moves are extremely fast, simple, and hits hard. So therefore, that's a good weapon. Okay, moving on to the lower A. I got the dual wheel. Yes, it's sad. Dual wheel got nerfed so much in this game. Fifty percent off. That would be good for buying products. It won't be good in gaming because we don't need that fifty percent off. To be honest, we want the original dual wheel. Dual wheel, it's supposed to do dual wheel. That's the whole point. Yes, I get it. If they like, if they didn't remove that fifty percent off, this would be an S rank weapon, no doubt about it. No doubt about it, because AL is the best weapon, period. So in this game, it could definitely live up to the expectation what dual wheel is supposed to do. But Devs wants to nerf it because it was simply too strong. Even though fifty percent, like at fifty percent, you know, of original, that's like average of the stats. But um, even though it's average, still can do decent amount of, you know, you know, a、uh, job done. Like damage wise, no big deal. Speed wise, it's okay. You know, like speed in this game isn't fast compared to AL because we are hundred percent speed over there. Here we don't. Even though they boost the base speed damage, like、uh, the speed, not damage, the speed, it still feels slow because we don't have enough speed to really, you know, boost them up, and it kind of sucks. Other than that,、um, dual wheel is dual wheel. They shouldn't have nerfed it because instead of nerfing a weapon, they should just bring everybody else up easier. You know, in AL, how they match it, Sky Dancer. So every weapon that has sky, like you know, can work with sky dance, extremely powerful. So they can be, they can you know, the damage can you know come up, 
because it's easier for the devs to nerf one weapon than instead of bring all of the other weapons up for some reason. So it kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, I can easily see the duel will become S rank like rapier, if not better. But um, with a hundred at a hundred percent, you know, strength without the nerf. So since they did that, uh, it kind of sucks because uh, we. The only way to make this weapon strong is that you give us, like, well, they have to give us, like, extremely high stats, practically max stats in the game, so, yeah, I don't see that happening, uh, maybe in the future, but for the time being, like, it is a tick lower than upper A weapons, because the upper A weapons can actually hit more than do will, so, and better in every situation, it kind of sucks, because, like I say, it's unnecessary. Plus, you can stack two passives, just one, just one. Like, come on, man. Even if 50% off, and we still can't keep the other passives, like, seriously? So, Duel is still pretty powerful. Not like so, not, not all the soul skills, like, changed from AL. It's still doing what it's supposed to do, and therefore, it is a powerful weapon. You just have to, you know, you just have to get used to the, you know, slow speed and then not enough SP in this game for a lot of time and then but with all the with all the setups and buffs, you should be okay. Arena wise, it's tough. It's really tough to use two wheel in the arena, I'm not gonna lie. Like a lot of weapons are aren't just they, they aren't doing good in the arena. That's why I don't wanna include the arena as much. But the lower A for one handed sword. Now one handed sword is very much alike just like do wheel it, because of 50 percent so it's basically a one-handed sword i mean it's not that much difference so do wheel is a tick above because of the stats that's all um other than that one-handed is very special because like you can use fast combos and then very simple and you do good amount of damage and there's no doubt about it and good debuffs especially if you have a one in your main party and hits debuffs other than that yeah they nerfed the one sword skill which was the main for this weapon to have a lot of sp regen it was to be plus 20 but now it's plus 5 which makes no sense they shouldn't they, they did there was no reason to nerf that because yeah it's a little bit too op but still come on now like it's fine to have things op in the game but it's just it, 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 i i like buffing more than nerfing a majority of the game because the, the 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 definition of balance is not necessarily bring everything down to an equal plane. You can also bring everything up to an equal plane, but there's things more to bring it down than actually bring it up. Which is why I don't really like nerfing in general because it's just it's just a way of less work for them to fix something. Up next, I got bow. The bow is really really good in this game. One thing they did it right, bring bow up to be great. Well, not, not necessarily great, but it was be it's better than what it was in AL because the lack of, you know, the lack of sword skills and then the damage nerfed and all that, etc. I don't know down multipliers or all that BS, but in this game, they made bow pretty strong, so I'm happy with it because bow is really fun in this game not gonna lie i mean this is a powerful weapon very powerful weapon and i'm glad to see it doing well without being nerfed for the second time in the second game so bow is really even though it doesn't have in, like a lot of sword skill just one extra sword skill more but it's the ultimate sword skill that's what makes special it looks really cool and it gets the job done so a lot of times, bow was just missing, um, you know, missing more sword skill. Even though you can see there's not many sword skills, still the same, just one extra in this game. But that one extra sword skill make a huge differences. That's what makes the separation between, you know, this game and the last game. So, also the finish arm makes up the damage. So, which makes this bow really powerful the other problem i didn't really like was the aerial crit which is a down crit because it would be much better for the down crit because just like the other weapon you hit more damage when that happens so dex and agility isn't horrible it's better than vitality i mean so it'll be this sword skill itself it has some it has like debuffs and other stuff so 
Yeah, bow doesn't look like it's it's like a huge difference from AL, but when you actually get into it and test it and use it to potent max potential, it's very very powerful. So it is definitely in the A category. So let's move on to the next weapon. Okay, so now let's move on to the B rank weapons. So first off, I got the dagger. The dagger is it's kind of eh in this game because the skill speed. Oh my god, slow. It is slow, painful. Uh, not to mention they don't hit really hard. It's good for debuff, but not necessarily good for DPS. Yes, it's it can hit hard, but do you have the time to wait for it to hit it? That's the problem. A lot of the time when you're trying to do four four, uh, good luck. Um, like it, it, because the soul skill. Which is why I said, you know, I saved these for the last three weapons. And um, to talk about it, the animation is great. But what good does it do if you if you take so long to hit it? You know, this is the problem. I love the adjustment strength index. But overall speed, no, not that good. It just takes too long because you have certain you have limited time to output the DPS. And then do the finish art. You know, you can't. You don't have all day to sit there to use a full soul skill for, especially this one. It takes a long time to finish it, and it really wastes damage. A lot of a lot of weapons, they're really really good. They're less waste of motion, and they hit hard. Like it's different than hit hard and then slow. The dagger is is hitting kind of hard, but it's very slow. So it doesn't make up like the two-handed weapon, like the two H hits extremely hard, but it's much, much faster. This is the issue I talk about in AL. There's no point to have soul skill that looks cool, but it takes a long time to hit, to finish. Because you're gonna miss all the damage, you know? You're gonna miss like to get the job done. It looks cool, like it's like, it's like a hundred million, like a million, um, dollar move but 10 cents finish that's what it is um but the thing is like if some people want those like like soul skills that hits 30 hits comes back you know like heave a boogie or something yeah good luck good luck using all 30 old plus hits to try to get the <laughs> get the boss if it, it's gonna get up so you'll be wasting time using the soul skill anyway so this is why it won't work in these kind of games because you have kind of have limited time to really use the soul skill before you kind of start just missing out a whole bunch of damage in general so it's kind of waste up next i got the maze maze is powerful but it's slow not to mention it also has a lot of buffs Yes, they're good buffs, like attacks and etc. buffs. So that's why Maze hits a lot harder than some of the weapons. But generally, speed is definitely the issue. Because you can have a hit hard, but if you don't have the speed to make it up, it's not good enough. Plus, Maze is not like as strong as, you know, um, as, uh, as two-handed. So the, the adjustment for the... Uh, the final soul skill isn't that great either, dex and vitality. Uh, strength and vitality, then we might talking about different category in a different rank. But dex and vitality, it's hard to make up that damage. Yes, it hits hard, but eh, not enough. Overall, a lot of soul skills, they buff you, which I hate the most in this game. Because you, you know you have limited soul skill buffs and you want those soul skill buffs. But the maze gives you extra skill buffs. <sighs> That's just one of one of those things where you just wish that it, they don't carry over from AL. But sword skill is supposed to give effect. I get it, but none I think now we like we we really don't need it. I got better buffs to use. Some of them they give you attack. That's great. But other than that, like some others they don't. So skill speed is a problem. Uh, the adjustment is a problem. It's not the hardest, you know, EX hitting sword skill. So if you lack of that for the damage wise, yeah, if you have slow speed and slow and, and low damage, lower damage, and 
it doesn't work that well. So therefore, it's a B rank. It's still really powerful weapon, but you know, it just because they're B rank doesn't mean they're terrible weapon. So last but not least, I got melee. Melee is a, such a cool weapon in this game. It's like it introduced it like whenever like way back it was different so but here they brought it back but it's kind of cool in lr although i wish it would be like scythe be extremely powerful yes the for some people they probably put this a little bit higher rank but for me speed really tells a lot of things so because because melee has a lot of animations a lot i mean a lot like even the EX, you still have to pause there, just like the, uh, just like the two, like I mean not dude, like the dagger. You wait there for a long time, even though I still prefer melee over dagger any day. It's just because it's much faster and hits much harder. And strength and dex, I don't use the the alt that much because the adjustment. So it's not like, yeah, it's lengthy. So. Plus the adjustment strength and dex will hit a lot more anyway, so there's no there's no reason to use the alt for me, but you can use it for fun if you want to. It's much faster. Melee itself, it doesn't like it doesn't really stand out as much, but it's like one of those cool weapons. Like it gets it, it gets like job done sometimes, but um, overall, um, it's just the animation. It takes too long. So last lastly, I want to talk about is that the uh the tier for the dps this is how i will rank it specifically s rank i will have the rapier a rank i will have katana two-handed scythe spear whip and shield axe b rank i will have dual wheel, one h and bow and c rank i will have dagger mace and melee that will be the damage tier list because after testing so much it's basically like one is shorter than the other one so that's that's the whole completion you know this one i could put it easily put it to like you know um the the general tier list but i felt like a lot of weapons are not that you know not that terrible i mean in general they are still really powerful because the um, because the balance they make in this game is like finish R and everything else works just fine. So therefore, unless you really retest really it, you're not gonna see uh, huge differences in between them. So yeah, but if you test it a lot and you can see the damage wise, so a lot of it comes to we don't really have insane amount of gears in this game, and plus the weapon stats aren't like extremely high. So therefore, it's kind of like eh. We'll just have to wait till whenever more updates in the future and find out if we get better stuff and if these will change and we can finally bring out their full potential like AL did and we'll see. But for the time being, this is my weapon tier list and that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy it. You know, like it feel it's it's fine to have different opinions and uh, different setups, but like overall, if you make your own tier list, you explain it and then why you put it this way and why you know like that so that's all you know it's not like you know, it's not like um well here's the correct answer it's not you know so it's just really it's really how you play the game and test it and then how you put up the list but uh <laughs> other than that i hope you guys enjoy it until next time